starting an online business? How to maintain until you obtain? When I think about the skills required to succeed online, I think like this. If I told you I was going to invest six years of my life to become a doctor, and then go out and start my own practice, you would automatically get that. Wouldn't you? You would say, wow, stick at it man you can do it. It would probably be the same for accounting law, engineering, and any other professional pursuit. When it's all said and done, there probably would not be much change from $50,000 to get yourself one of those university degrees. If you were to set sail and start a traditional lawnmower business, or maybe a dog grooming business, again there will not be much change from $50,000 and that's before they turn a dollar. Or you can buy a job camouflaged as a business for $150,000 up to a million by buying a Subway or McDonald's franchise and all its inherent challenges. But if you told your family you were going to do a two-year apprenticeship to learn the fundamentals of building a business online and invest $50,000 into online infrastructure so you could eventually double and triple your income down the track, what would they say? so that you could develop skills that could help you yield in 90 minutes, what it would normally take you a year to earn. So that eventually you could outsource all the things you find boring and unenjoyable. A business you could invest in as you go, at your pace, allowing yourself time to develop the skills necessary to have the lifestyle you identified in the earlier questions. For an online business to be profitable, there are infrastructure points that need to be understood, and that's what makes it financially viable. The idea of having a website and selling $10 books or having 100,000 YouTube subscribers might look good on the surface. But without proper big-ticket high-end infrastructure the business will not be economically viable. But even more important than the economics, there is the one thing you need to work out, otherwise you will definitely fail, is how to maintain until you obtain meaning, you have to create and cultivate a plan to stay strong mentally. It's your why. Ask yourself. W is for what. H is the how. And the why is for you. How do you want to live in terms of what you can do, what you can have and what you can give away? What skills do you need to learn so that you can live that lifestyle? Ask yourself. What skills do you need to learn that will allow you to make the most amount of money in the least amount of time? And then we are left with, you. And that's an investigation in itself. Anthony Robbins talks about it this way, and he calls it. His Bendwimp Theorem. B. What do you believe? E. How do you evaluate things? N. What are your needs? D. What are your dreams? W. What are your wounds? I. What are your interests? M. Who are your mentors? P. What are you proud of? The point here is that, you need to have a system in place, that can deal with these human sabotage issues. Starting an online business and making it successful will require you to have the balance right. A balance between economical online business design and you being able to handle things mentally. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.